Welcome to another show of La Casa Nostra cooking. Uh, today we're going to be making a breakfast hash. Really simple guys, let's get to it. All right, for the ingredients guys, we're going to need potatoes. Uh, we're going to have green peppers, yellow peppers, onions, garlic, cheese, eggs, and your choice of a protein. I'm using beef today because that's what we eat, that's what we have. Um, you usually use a pork, uh, but we don't have that. So, like I said, that's why we're using beef. And uh, we'll run through it on how we're gonna start here. So first thing we're gonna do is I got a cast iron pan, heat it up with some avocado oil in it. Um, it's pretty hot. So I'm using cast iron because everything's gonna be cooked in this same pan. So first I'm gonna go ahead and add the onions in. Now, I'm cooking the beef first with the onions, and then we'll just toss it all in after. So, those are in. Get that to cook down just a little bit. All right, I just put the onions in. Now it's time for the beef. Um, if I could get it open. Head on over here, turn the heat up. Now cast iron's easy, because you could cook everything in one pan, and it's not, not that hard to use. Easy to throw in the oven as well to finish things off, so cast iron's a big, big tool to use while you're cooking. Now, if I could get all this out. Now the goal is here, after this is done cooking, I'm actually going to take it out and let it sit while we cook the potatoes with the peppers. So, make sure we got all the beef. That's about it all there. Okay, so I'm cooking the beef right now. Uh, going to season it with some salt. I don't know where my salt's at. Hold on, guys. Salt. You can put a decent amount of salt. There's a lot of beef here. Salt adds flavor. Don't be scared to add salt. Salt. Pepper. bit of red pepper flakes because I like a little spice so I'll add those and we'll come right back to when the beef is done cooking all right so right there we're back I just removed the beef um, I cooked it down to where there's just a little bit of pink because uh, we're gonna th actually throw it in the oven and before you start this we'll preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit so we can have that ready for later so over here what we're gonna do now is prepare what we're actually gonna throw in to the pan now. So we have all our stuff. So I'm actually just gonna make some chops to these potatoes. And I already cut them in half before we started. And I'm using three potatoes here. kind of potatoes these are you have golden Yukon something else I don't really know what they're called but they're really good and here comes my cat but we gotta leave him out of it stay 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 can you grab him thank you all right so now I'm just gonna chop these up really simple just right across and you can cut them however big you want the pieces, long, short, it's up to you guys. You know, all this I just want you to take, I'll show, I'm showing you the basic of how to make it, but when you go home, you can use it however you want. Uh, when you're cooking it at home, you know, you can add different ingredients, uh, make it your own way, but this is just how, you know, your go ahead and prep 
and get everything ready. So you want to break apart all those pieces so they're not stuck together when we go to cook here. All right, there's just about good. Some pieces bigger than the others. And there we go. Nope, one more. Not throwing that in. All right. So I'm going to toss all these over in the pan. Now you want a medium heat for these because you don't want to burn the potatoes. So. see over here and what I did is I actually left in I don't know if I said it before but I left in that the fat that came off the beef just to add some extra flavor when we're cooking and then also there's some avocado oil in there that's good at higher temperatures other than olive oil avocado oil doesn't has a higher smoking point so now we just spread these out evenly. Turn the heat up because there's a lot of them. And we'll let those cook down. And then once those are ready, uh, we'll be right back. All right, everybody. Here we are. Uh, this is how we're going to cut a pepper. No, okay. <laughs> it's not going to come in here. All right. Anyways, back to it. This is how we're going to cut a pepper. You see I cut the top and the bottom off. I already threw it away. And what you're going to do is you're actually just going to make a little slice into your pepper, cut it like that, open it up, and you're going to come across, roll it out, and bam, you have a cut pepper, you can throw these away, and then cut it however you want, slices, Doesn't matter. All right, uh, just a quick little input for the video. The reason I'm doing this this breakfast hash here is just because right now you guys know the coronavirus, keeping everybody at home. There's a lot of uh, grocery stores are are out of stock of everything. So the reason I'm making this is because it just gives you whatever you have in your kitchen. Just throw it into a pan, throw some eggs in it, peppers, whatever you have, throw it all together and that'll give you, you know, a good meal, something, you know, that you can enjoy all day. All right, guys, we're back here. Uh, I'm about to add the peppers. So what I'm gonna do is, I just made a little, little divot in between. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. That was a little bit too much. Anyway, uh, use your knife as a tool here. Careful, don't drop them in, set them in. And here we go. All right. So the reason I'm adding those in now, as you see, I didn't season the potatoes yet. I'm going to do that once they cook down a little bit. Same with the peppers here. So mix those around. Give them a spot to just soften up in the middle while we wait. All right, guys, we're back. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some garlic. I already peeled it. And if you guys don't have one of these, it's just a little garlic press. Um, you can probably find them anywhere, but really good tool to have. So, garlic in. There, a spoon. And I already have it peeled before you put it in, or else you're gonna have to go back into this thing and take all the skin out. You don't want to do that. That's just another step. That's a hassle. So, all right. So those are about cooked down a little bit, and now that now you want to season. So I'm gonna come over here. Grab my salt, 
right here. This one's a pain. Salt everything. Like I said, salt's not bad. Adds flavor. Pepper. A lot of pepper on that there. A little paprika if you don't have it, it's alright. I just we have it, so I'm gonna add a little bit. It's good on eggs, chicken, potatoes, stuff like that. I'm only putting half ground beef in this because my sister doesn't like ground beef, so we're just gonna add on this side the ground beef. Ground beef is in, and then you can save this for whatever you want, which is nice. Uh, next is the eggs. And crack your eggs before cracking them in there. Because you really don't want any shells in there. And look, look at that. As I said that, there's a shell on the yolk. Use the egg shell to get the yolk out. All right, here's number one. What you're going to do, so it doesn't leak everywhere, make little divots. So there's one. All right. All right, so we're back. As you see, I'm just finishing off these eggs really quick. Just like that. All right. Add a little paprika on the eggs. Just because we can. Pepper. Boom, boom, boom. And hold on one sec. Again, a little salt on these eggs. You want to season everything. Everything you season. Now that the eggs are in, potatoes are cooking. In the oven, 10 minutes, 12 minutes we go. Now you just watch, you know, up to you, watch the eggs when it turns white um, or whatever consistency you like your eggs at. That's where we're going to go with that. So we'll be back in about 10 minutes here and I'll show you the final product. All right, guys, I forgot to add the cheese. My fault. Okay, so real simple. I don't want to burn myself here. Oh, by the way, while it's in here and we're cleaning up everything. While we're cleaning up everything, well, while it's cooking, we're cleaning up. So, I'm just going to dress it with a little cheese on top. I'm not too big on cheese right now. So, just a little bit. My sister likes cheese, so we're going to add a little bit more on her side. That good? That's perfect. All right. Like I said, while it's cooking, you're cleaning up. Oh, and then back in we go. Look at that. Look at that. That looks tremendous. Oh my. Can't, can't wait to dive into this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take a little taste test. Get some of the egg. Some of the potato here. Here we go. The beef, the onions, the peppers, the cheese, and the egg all mixed together. The potatoes are cooked pretty damn well, I'm not going to lie. I thought I undercooked them, but they are pretty, pretty, pretty good here. So, but there's your breakfast hash. Feel free, guys. Let me know how it goes if you make it. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know more recipes you want me to cook, how to cook certain things. Let me know, and I'll get it done for you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you all soon.